This is almost the end of our first ever SciTech Summit. It was virtual, it was amazing. I would like to thank everyone in the SciTech team for Event High and their amazing production, for all of our incredible presenters that gave over their time and their knowledge and the support of our sponsors, MindMen, Atai Life Sciences, ICANN, Synthesis and Novamind. To all of you guys, our attendees from joining us from literally all over the world, we are thrilled to have you as part of our SciTech community. And having said that, please take note, you can already register for our upcoming webinar on the 17th of June, 12 p.m. EST. We'll be discussing psychedelics and technology, so it should be fascinating. And now I'm going to leave you in the hands of Matthew Johnson, who's going to introduce you to a beautiful, relaxing session by Sonic Shamanic. Thanks for being with us. Been great. So yeah, I'd like to, um, I'm going to be introducing you to, to Leah Raderman and um, tell you a little bit of background. Leo and I have been working on uh, something that is, is related to what you're going to see and perhaps ex experience. Um, and I'm talking about the study of breath work. And so um, many of you may have heard of this, many of you perhaps not, but uh, breath work refers to using the breath to achieve uh, experiences. And so anecdotal evidence exists that certain types of breath work, and in particular what we're looking to study is Groff bre breath work, which has been known as holotropic breath work. Um, anecdotal experience uh, suggests that this can lead to psychedelic level of experience. And so um, it's it's this has been around for decades, but there has been, there have been no existing major scientific studies on this uh, on on this technique. And given that what we're seeing with the the promise of psychedelic medicine, it seems incredibly fruitful to explore non-pharmacological methods to achieve similar states of of consciousness that may lead to similar therapeutic outcomes and it may be that a wider a variety of individuals would be willing to and 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 qualify for this type of of uh, experience um particularly in, in in treating uh psychiatric disorders so i think there's a lot of promise there to be research so we'll um uh leo with the uh, psychia institute have been um uh uh, helping us sow the seeds for this research. We have a protocol that has been reviewed by our institutional review board. Um, uh, we're looking for funding for folks that are interested in supporting this work. I direct you to the Psychia Institute website at www.psykia.org. Um, and there you'll find a way to support this work. Um, and uh, so with that, you know, I'm, I'll just tell you that I'm, I'm terribly interested in the potential with breath work. And I think the plan is for you to get a little bit of a taste of that with the Sonic Shamanic Project, um, which Leo will tell you more about. And so with that, I'll introduce you to Leo Raderman. Thank you so much, Matt. Uh, I really appreciate that. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Leo Raderman. And we are going to experience together um, what we're kind of billing as a, a psychedelic or a psychedelic-like experience without psychedelics. Um, how I came to this um, was obviously, um, you know, through through work with uh, medicine, ayahuasca in particular, and my very first experience um, with ayahuasca, I really noted what a sonic experience it was for me. Um, I was working with a, a shaman who was uh, an ayahuascaro, incredibly gifted, and I called the experience this the sonic sonic um, exploration of the shamanic. So, began delving into um, using sound as medicine and created the sonic shamanic um, as a collection of uh, musicians and um, sound practitioners, sound healers. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. We're going to attempt to use sound and breath to bring you into what Stan Groff calls a holotropic state. I'm sure that most of you know that phrase, but just in case he coined the term holotropic, it means moving towards wholeness um, as a way of referencing a subset of expanded states of consciousness in which what he termed an inner healing intelligence emerges. 
of course, this happens with psychedelic medicine, perhaps most strongly, but he also noted that it happens with breathwork and as a result created what is known as holotropic breathwork. Um, at Psychia Institute, we're very interested in studying these modalities, these, therapy, these therapies that help people enter holotropic states, um, psychedelic medicine, breathwork, sound healing, and to some degree, if you're very practiced, um, meditation. Um, so what we're going to do today is combine uh, breathwork. Uh, this is not holotropic breathwork per se, as that is a very um, specific protocol. Um, and Stan and Brigitte Groff are now calling this Groff breathwork. Um, instead, what we're going to do is um, a short experience, about 20 minutes of transformational breathwork. It will be led by um, a wonderful um, couple of, of facilitators named Anya and Dane. Um, and after that, we're going to move into a sound healing that will involve multiple instruments, ranging from drum and heavy rhythm to uh, Tibetan singing bowls to some alto saxophone. And the idea is to lay back and to let the music guide and let the breath guide and hopefully have something of a, of a journey. Um, so to do this, we're going to get off of um, Crowdcast here. There's a link uh, right there. I always wanted to do that. Um, it says, click here for the sonic shamanic breath plus sound as medicine. Um, that's going to open a Zoom window. Um, in addition, um, I'm going to post right here in the comments a uh, link to a YouTube uh, live stream. Now, the reason that we're using both is the, uh, the platform, Zoom, does not quite cut it in terms of delivering high quality sound. So here is the YouTube link right there in the uh, comments. And if you could click uh, both this link and the comment link right there, um, make sure that you have two browsers open, one with the Zoom window and the other with the YouTube stream. Um, the YouTube stream won't have any sound until we transition. And when we transition to the YouTube stream, the Zoom uh, uh, stream will not have any sound. So you won't have to do anything once you're lying down. Um, and finally, I'd like to say that this is an immersive experience, uh, best done uh, laying back with eyes closed, headphones if you have them, or nice speakers. Um, and if now is not an appropriate time uh, for you to do it, um, I invite you to go to the sonic shamanic, uh, com. You can sign up for our email list there, and anybody who signs up there will be um, doing more in the future, we'll, in, we'll invite you and you can be our guests. Um, it's been an interesting journey uh, figuring out how to do this online. We normally do it um, with uh, groups anywhere from 10 to 12 people to in, in small circles to 200 in large, large groups. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and uh, really uh, hope that you have a nice journey. After the journey, after the sound ends, we will open the Zoom room up again for sharing. Um, and questions. And with that, I invite everybody to uh, click those two links right now. Uh, Dane and Anya uh, will be waiting. And um, I invite you to have a, a, a wonderful journey. Thank you very much. I'm going to put the link